Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel so today we are going to be doing part number 21 of Download 2 so we draw the last episode and let's come on Hmm so where we need to go Hmm Oh no Okay. Got my eyes on mm, you, Pilgrim. Okay. Hmm, no what should we get? Oh, cool. We'll get for longer. Hmm. Yeah, tip tuck. Then we'll get Oh, that's good. I'll get that one next and then that one. Right, let's go and do this mission then. Hmm. Um. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. We'll keep that. Mister. Oh, 
Hold on, where's the map? Mm, looks like we're gonna go here. Oh, and let's go. Until today, I thought our chances against renegades were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay. Here we are. Hmm. Turning on the power True. will change things completely. We can live safely in the powered areas. Alright, let's go and talk to him. I've got orders to find you, from Meyer and the Commander. And my name's- I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But, you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please, make yourself oh. scarce. Well, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can send his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. 
He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. Hmm. What can you offer me? That's a good question. Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. <coughs> everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Uh, Try again. for help. Mm-hmm. All right, listen, I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need them? Oh, Jack, what'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But... I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So, you have to try harder. Huh. Okay. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And what should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. <laughs> oh shit. Oh she's already there. We'll talk. Let me guess. He scarfed down five courses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, Antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Daniel's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. Oh yeah, we'll definitely go. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Go, find some art. Well, let's go and get some art then. Once more from the top, you can memorize at least this small section. Oh, what was my ball? Ah, okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hmm, how do I get in there now? Okay, so don't go through there then. This uh eighteenth century turning sketch build draw hmm. Ah, the list of what he took it seems. Juan would be pleased. Oh, that's that one. Oh. Actually, hold on. He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. Mm. <laughs> one romantic son of a bitch. Hmm, okay. Stash. A helicopter was coming for okay. this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Okay.
Hmm. Yeah, this one, that one there. Oh, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Daniel is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. You know, wait, which one is number one? Yes. Let's go and turn the oh. Hello. Right, okay, yeah, let's go to this party then. Well, here we are. Let's go enjoy the party then. Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Yeah, here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gajo? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get us a dinner war. Yeah, uh... Okay, uh, listen. Happy birthday. Uh, lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. A bet? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. Aiden! You came! You invited me. Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Uh, listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you. Trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. Who won? Is this about some bet? 
Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. Yeah. Bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? Okay, let's do it. My man! Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. So, let's tell the truth. Have you slept with anyone in Villador? No. Are you for real? <laughs> Maybe the guy has standards. Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. Not everyone is like you, Ro. Okay. Your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean play? I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden. You play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. There. Let's hear those pipes, Ro. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you asked for it. You're my ragamuffin. You might think I'm tough and all. But I always have a ball with you. Woo, 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 woo. You're my ragamuffin. I know it's just a silly name, but you set my heart. Good Lord, shoot me. Shoot me dead before I have to hear another note. Wow, man, that was. <laughs> that was something. Okay, enough of this. Anything you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Let's ask him about how the list Not started. What can I ask about what? Oh yeah, the, the hit list. How did it start? With a bastard who had to pay for what he did started with one then there was another one and then a whole bunch of them but who was the first one that's another question drink no he's just making you answer the first one who cares what he asked it started way before that when i escaped from waltz frank helped me he showed me that there's something else i can do with all my anger Back then, I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. Ugh. Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC Tower. Frank lost almost everyone. Night runners fell. Frank started to drink, gave up on life, on himself. <laughs> so, I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. Hmm. And then, yeah, we're going to end it off here. Hopefully you all, all enjoyed the episode. Yeah, we'll continue on doing this next time, and goodbye.